Hey guys, Slave to the Games here with a Fallout 4 video on mods that I personally have added to my own ultra modded survival hardcore playthrough that I'm currently in the middle of playing. If you would like to see it, check out the link in the description below. Now the first mod I have is Lootable Cars, and as you can see it allows you to loot nearly all the vehicles in the base Fallout 4 game, excluding the destroyed ones of course. And if a vehicle is destroyed, unless it respawns, the contents will be lost. Now I personally find this mod great because when you're walking through the world, you're going to assume that people are going to actually hide some things in cars, and they're probably going to live in cars during radiation storms or just in general because they can't find a place to live. So it adds a little bit of immersion and realism to the game in my opinion. I mean, I could be wrong, but it's just a preference that I myself enjoy. The next mod I want to show you is Fallout 2287 Gas Masks of the Wasteland. Honestly, no matter what type of playthrough I am or ever will play, this mod will forever be on it. What this mod does is, depending on your settings, forces you to have to use filters on your gas masks in order to breathe. The settings are customizable through a holotape so that you can have it exactly the way you want the mod to be implemented into your game. The weather will directly impact what you see through your mask as effects such as rain, blood, dirt, and snow will start to cover your mask, blocking your view, as well as some others. But don't worry, you can easily wipe it away just for it to come right back, forcing you to either go inside, keep wiping it, or just deal with it. To get you started, you will now start with around 5 filters and a basic gas mask. This will also mean things like air filtration for your bases will be needed to breathe without wearing a gas mask in those places. NPCs will also wear gas masks as well if you have the settings selected, though it does sometimes have a bug where you watch the masks just appear on everyone. Some other bugs are stackable gas masks all break when the one of them in the stack does. Companions may not start with a gas mask, and the wiping feature has a tendency to, well, be a little bit off. Either way though, even with all these problems, I still find it one of my favorite mods, if not my most favorite mod, that I enjoy playing. With the third mod, I felt it should be full dialogue interface, and if you don't know what this means, then I'm sorry. Go download it right now. Because this makes all of the four choices in every dialogue you encounter show exactly what you were going to say. And that's all four choices. No more will you choose an option and instantly regret it. No more will you think you want to ask a simple question and it leads you being an ass to an NPC unintentionally. With this mod, you can be as big or as little an ass as you want to be. And so on Vivid Follow is an overhaul of all landscape textures, trees, rocks, roads, bridges, and most concrete things in the game, make them all look much, much better, at least in my opinion. I have no idea if it is true, but apparently it is also less VRAM heavy. For any of you who knows what that means, maybe you can explain it in the comments, but for now, just know that apparently it's really, really good. And it also looks really good. The next mod is Visible Weapons and all of its arch types. What this mod does is, let's be honest, not just allow you to have the weapons you have equipped shown on your body, but allow multiple weapons, whether you have them or not, equipped on your body. And with me being completely honest here, I have no idea how some people have multiple primary and secondary weapons equipped since it only allows me to have one of each. Seriously, it's annoying. I want to have all the weapons that I have equipped on me to a reasonable degree because I know you can't have 50 of them, but I want at least like two of each primary and secondary. And if any of you know how to do this, please comment below with instructions and you have my thanks. Please, please tell me. And last but not least is Sim Settlements and all of its add-ons slash counterparts. Okay, okay. Then at least the three main ones which conveniently come in, a three pack including Sim Settlements, Industrial Revolution, and Rise of the Commonwealth. What this mod does is significantly improve on the, well you guessed it, the settlement and building aspect of the game. It ranges from allowing you to have complete control of the upgrades, buildings, etc. to allowing a leader, when you find the low fuckers, to control the upgrades, buildings, etc. <laughs> well, wanna make it as hard as fuck and as immersive as shit to do it? Do it. Wanna say screw it all and just play the game and come back to a bustling settlement? Do it. After you build the desk required and found a little fucker to handle it all while you're away. And that's all I have for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is my first time doing a Fallout 4 video on mods. If there's any way for me to improve on this, leave it in the comments respectfully, please, so as my heart does not break and I have to go to the shower and cry as I wipe the filth away. Well anyway, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you already haven't. I will be doing all of the mods in my list. Hopefully, that's 268 mods, 255 plugins. Look forward to it because... I mean, I really am. And if you haven't seen my playthrough yet, please go over and watch it because I think it's good. I think you should think it's good. Go over and watch it, please.